Yeah, see, my basic contention is that I think when we talk about the network society, there's a tendency to see everything as absolutely new, as never encountered before, as posing challenges uh, for which we've had no sort of preparation. And I think this comes partly out of the fact that the technologies that we are engaging with and contending with are so new. Uh, but what I feel is that the technologies may be new, but the power relations are not new. They're sort of new iterations or new uh, forms of old power relations that we've had a lot of experience as feminists as feminist activists uh, in handling and challenging and pushing back and even to some extent uh, overcoming. So I just feel that a hugely important and potentially powerful area of uh, investigation is to actually examine how have we succeeded in the past in confronting certain core types of power equations. So take specific challenges, like for instance surveillance, uh, like for instance the policing, uh, controlling our mobility. Here it's about controlling our mobility and our access in a virtual world perhaps. But we've had experience in how women have subverted those forms of surveillance and policing in all kinds of different contexts and sometimes from very ancient times. So I think if we try to distill from those older strategies what were some essential principles that women use. So don't get bogged down and focused on the strategy because that might have been specific to the context, to the nature of the relationships and uh, the politics of that specific place or location or issue but look at the principle you can pull out of the strategies that were used. Um, you know, how did women go underground? How did they go around those systems of uh, policing and surveillance? And then figure out whether that principle can be translocated in the virtual world.